There are many ways to monetize a YouTube channel. YouTube AdSense is really not the first one I started with. In fact, it's not even one that I particularly focus on. And if you are looking to build your business or promote your business utilizing YouTube, I suggest you just forget about the AdSense program just for a moment. So that's where YouTube pays you a certain amount of money per thousand views that you get. I'll get to that in a moment. But if you are someone who is looking to promote yourself or your business online to gain clients or to gain customers, then I'm gonna share with you exactly what I did to promote a very, very small channel. At the time it was under a thousand subscribers and that was attracting me hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, lots of clients coming to me saying, Tracy, I wanna work with you. And even people signing up to my course. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and I take high heart-centered go-getter business people who want to promote their videos on YouTube from scattered and getting no results to creating an attraction marketing machine that bring you your ideal clients and customers. So if that's you, listen up because I'm going to share with you the five things that I knew to do with my channel that most other YouTubes didn't. YouTubes. And I'm also going to share with you the five ways that you can monetize your channel without needing YouTube AdSense. Okay, so years ago, I started with a channel which was all about pregnancy and birth and babies and stuff like that. I had become a birth teacher at the time. I had a lot of people asking me the same sorts of questions over and over. And I was like, why don't I utilize my time by answering these questions and then putting it online? So if people keep asking me the same questions, I'm not having to write on social media all these answers or I could just send people to a video. I could send my own clients to a video. I could email these videos to people who are on my email list. So just take note of that though, because that is something that you need. Little did I know that these videos would be like insanely popular. These videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views on some of them, which was insane to me. And everyone was asking me like, Tracy, what the hell are you doing? How do I get clients? Because as a result of those videos, I started to build my email list. I started to attract people reaching out to me, not just just from Sydney, Australia, where I'm from, but from literally all around the world. One of the big things that I'm gonna share with you is the first thing you need to do is position yourself as a go-to person. So you have to know like who you are and what problem do you solve for people? Because if people don't realize that, they're probably not gonna watch you. In a split second of time, gotta work out, you know, is this person worthy of my time? Are they gonna help me answer my questions? Is this is the exact person that I need. So at the time, I obviously was not a doctor or a nurse or a midwife, so I couldn't play on my medical credentials or anything like that. So I positioned myself as this very, very knowledgeable, almost friend type person that would help them navigate the hospital system and help them ask the right questions to get the most amazing experience that they could birthing their baby, right? So that's kind of how I positioned myself. The other thing that I had simply setting up some kind of branding in the beginning is necessary so that people can recognize who you are. So that meant I had put a banner on the top of my channel. I had filled in the YouTube information in the about section and the links where people could get in touch with me and things like that. And then the third thing that I did that a lot of other people don't do is I created an offer. So for me and my business right now, I have a couple of offers, which is a PDF ideas list, which helps you come up with video ideas that would be great for your business. You can download that on my website. I also have a guide in how to set up your YouTube channel for business. Have a think about what you could offer that your ideal client would find super helpful. Now, the other thing that I did was concentrate on building my list. And yeah, you can do that with your offer, but making sure that you are letting people know about the offer and telling people, hey, jump on my list because you don't wanna miss out on the next video that I'm talking about when I'm talking about this or this is coming up. And definitely, the other thing that I think really helped me is that I had a commitment to being consistent. Really, when you're setting up your channel or maybe you've started and stopped a lot of times and you're coming back to your channel, is making that commitment. Can you commit to doing a video once a week? Because if you're not committed to your channel, your subscribers will be like, is she coming back? Like they can't rely on you. Now I'm not saying you have to do it weekly. It's just a kind of a general rule that I would suggest for people who are doing YouTube for business. Okay, so the other thing that I want to share with you also 
is five ways that you can actually monetize your channel. And this is not including AdSense, so I guess AdSense is six. <laughs> really, you need a thousand subscribers if you wanna be considered for YouTube AdSense. And you also need, at this time, 4,000 watch hours within the previous 12 months. Again, I wouldn't even worry about that if you're doing YouTube for business. It's kind of like icing on the cake. Let's just move it to the side for a second. So the easiest thing that you could possibly offer without having to set up anything complicated online or have things cost you money is offer some coaching or consulting. And you can do this via Zoom and basically people subscribe to your email list and then you promote your coaching or consultancy services and people will hire you for whatever amount of hours that you want. And basically all you need is a PayPal link for people to pay you. That is the simplest, easiest offer I have ever done. The other one that I've also done is a offering a course. And this possibly means you have to set up something, maybe get some software that can host a course for you. But actually I've done some courses where I just run the course in a Facebook group. One of the first online courses that I ran was basically get people into a five day video challenge. And that was really fun. We did that out of a Facebook group. And towards the end of that, I was promoting that I was doing like a six week video course. And that again, I did out of the Facebook group. So we had a webinar each week and I would give them, you know, resources and things in the Facebook group. And that was pretty easy to set up as well. But with that sort of thing, you might need sales pages and you might need ways for people to pay you besides just a PayPal link. So that is a little bit more involved. The third way to monetize your YouTube channel is one of the other easiest ways that I have found and I've personally done in a couple of different niches and that is affiliate marketing. This is where another company is offering something. Now I'll give you a really simple example is if I were to recommend a book maybe on Amazon. So with Amazon, it's pretty small commissions that you get on there, but there's actually other companies where you can have pretty healthy commissions. You can get $50 commissions, thousands of dollars in commissions, and I've done both. I actually am an affiliate for a company which teaches you how to build a business online. So I will link that below if that is something that interests you. And it actually teaches you how to do affiliate marketing online. For anyone that's like the conscious heart centered business owner. And there's two more. There's also memberships. So you might have a membership site where somebody pays monthly. This again could be done at a Facebook group. This could be done as a Patreon. It's just a matter of how much techie stuff that you want to set up for yourself. Maybe you actually have this sort of stuff set up for your own company. So that could be easy to slot people into. And then of course, you might see a lot of YouTubers do merch. This is merchandise where they create t-shirts and hats and mugs and things like that. But for me right now, that's sort of not really anything that I'm interested in. I would rather focus on digital products I am a busy mom, so it's totally up to you. But I really think the way that I attracted so many people who were literally my ideal clients so quickly is because I came from that intuitive space where I really felt, who can I help have a transformation? If you can work that out, and if you are able to communicate that well, people will really be attracted to you like a magnet. Now, one of the biggest things that holds people back from doing videos is they're a little bit scared to get on camera. Camera, I know it can be scary. So I actually have a video right here that can help you with camera confidence. And I wasn't confident and I'm still not always confident to get on camera, but I still do it. And this is how, so go and watch that.